Let's continue styling this and the next part we're going to use is, use is you look into uh, the responsive. So once this hamburger menu is clicked and it's assigned the class to it, we're going to add more style to this, of course, so we can actually see something happening. In this case, it's similar to some of the other things we did, but now we have a class. So we have two different designs on our page. And the reason we can have this is because we're adding a class to it by using JavaScript. So we can add, instead of having only the, oops, sorry, instead of having only the navigation up here uh, and it going down like this, we can actually add something that looks like this. So having it suddenly centered um, and being pushed over. So that's the next part for this. And what did I actually write here? U L L I hover. Okay, so hover, this is the background. So let's change the background color here to DDD. And that's it for this case. And then we're going to add the next dot responsive, responsive like this. And then U L L I hover. And then we're going to assign something to the A. So this kind of looks, well, it almost looks exactly the same, but we just added a, uh, an A at the end here, which means once we hover over the LI, something ha is going to happen to the A only. Here it happens to the LI, here it happens to the A when a LI is hovered. It's kind of crazy, but that's true. So color, this is changing the color of the text like this, and that's done with that part. Then we're going to add nav, responsive, responsive, and something that's going to happen to the UL as well. We're going to do a display block. So once we actually hover it, it's going to expand. So we can actually, right now the menu is being flexed. So everything was, it looks like this here. So this is flex, so it goes this way. So instead of going down, it's going to be on the uh, horizontal instead. So that's what we want to happen here. Once we click this, it's going to be like the standard one. So we can use block for this instead of having to write flex and then direction uh, columns instead. But that's two ways of doing it, up to you. That's it. And then we just need one more piece here. So we're sure we're doing everything and we need to add nav.responsive uh, and then ULLI. Should probably move this up here, but I'm lazy, uh, so I don't want it to want to. We need to do display block here as well. Oops, a small K like this, and then we're going to do text align to make sure everything is being centered in the page, and we're going to do padding uh, to create and style the navigation. So this part here, the padding here, you can start moving this around to see what actually happens. Click save and refresh, and now you can expand, and now this happens. So the padding here, if I added 20 to this, it's going to create more space between the navigation, if you want to have bigger navigation in our case. And if you want to have a bigger text, you need to start changing uh, the font size of everything. But again, this, we have a white line here, and this is purple. And it's kind of easy why this is purple, because at the top of our page, we have in our header, we have a background color of purple, just delete that, like so. And now it looks exactly the same. Well, kind of exactly this one is a little bit bigger and the text here is a little bit smaller. But that's just something to do with the font size of the page. But that's how you create a simple version of a navigation. If you have submenus to your, uh, let's go back here. For example, if you have a drop, drop menu here on the news, it's going to kind of screw this up a little bit because we need to add more styles for the UL, LI, UL, and LI like you would with a drop down. So you have to continue styling with this. But in our case, I'm just creating three simple navigation and changing them to a more friendly version to mobiles. And that's a kind of an easy way to do this. All right, maybe not an easy way, but a simple way to do this. Okay, that's it for these lessons for converting a, a desktop menu into a mobile-friendly menu.